Hello and welcome, it's your boy HRB5000 with another episode in our Tarkov beginner series. In this episode we're going to cover one of the first maps you should learn in EFT. It's time to decode customs. The map is not only simple to learn, but most of your early level tasks will be in customs. One of the very first quests from Prapper is to kill 5 scavs in customs and hand over 2 MP133 shotguns. Let's start. There are two spawn sides in this map, the east side and the west side. In most maps in Tarkov, if you spawned on the left, your extraction will be on the right and vice versa. This also means that the middle of most maps is always going to be a hot spot or a choke point, where there is typically plenty of loot and death. But who cares? Smack middle of customs is the infamous dorms, where all your gear either multiplies or disappears. The dorms area have two main buildings that people call three-story and two-story. Both of which are located at the north of the map across the construction area, which is in the south of the map. Inside the dorms are plenty of rooms, some of which are locked. The locked rooms generally have better loot inside most especially the marked room, which is located at the end of the three-story dorms. You can get weapons and rare loot from here, just be careful on your way out or be hasty about it. If you are lucky enough to survive the middle of the map, here's a quick tip. Every 30 seconds or so, just stop and listen. Look around you, this game is so pretty. What does the outside look like? Does it look like Tarkov? If you're wondering why my game looks pretty, I am using Nvidia Freestyle filters. Sometimes I just sit here and loot at the trees, then I usually get shot. Anyway, you can't rush victory, only death. In Customs is one of the first scav bosses that you'll encounter, Rishala. He and his gang of aimbotted bodyguards has a chance to spawn in two different places. The dorms and the gas station. So be extra careful when going through these areas as his bodyguards aren't like normal scavs. And unless you're geared for a 5 vs 1, picking them off one at a time is usually a better idea than fighting them head on. Once your backpack is full and you're out of meds and ammo it's time to get the F out of here. If you spawned on the east side, highlighted by the white silos and train tracks, you will have two main extraction points, the trailer park extraction and the crossroads extraction. If you spawned on the west side of the map highlighted by the red custom building, your main extraction will be at ZD 1011. These are the extraction points that will always be available for you but are usually the furthest from your spawn. Here is a quick overview of some notable landmarks in Customs. Storage area which is behind Red Customs. Main bridge and the river. Corner shop. Bus terminal. Train bridge. Gas station. Substation, where you can see gas station. Military checkpoint. White silos. ZB1011 extraction. Once you know your bearings, it's a lot easier to go around the map and frag out. Play it offline a few times, just so you don't lose anything. Good luck on your games and enjoy watching me die. Ha 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 ha. Not funny, shut up, bye.